Welcome to our journey through time as we explore the 10 oldest cities on earth. From the bustling streets of Jericho to the awe-inspiring monuments of Luxor, we'll uncover the secrets of these ancient settlements. Prepare to be captivated by the ingenuity, resilience, and cultural tapestry of the world's oldest urban centers. Let our journey begin. Our first stop takes us to the arid plains of the West Bank, where we encounter Jericho, a city that has borne witness to over 10,000 years of human history. Archaeological evidence reveals a tale of early settlements, with remnants of walls and towers suggesting a structured society even in its earliest days. Jericho's strategic location near the Jordan River made it a vital oasis in the desert, attracting settlers and shaping its destiny. Over the millennia, this ancient city has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, each leaving its mark on its walls and within its soil. The echoes of ancient battles and the whispers of long-forgotten languages permeate the very air we breathe. Jericho stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity, a place where the past is not merely a memory, but a tangible presence. It is a place where time seems to stand still, allowing us to connect with the very roots of our shared human story. Our journey takes us north to the sun-kissed shores of Lebanon, where we encounter Byblos, a city with a legacy as vast as the Mediterranean Sea that laps at its feet. Founded millennia ago, Byblos was a bustling port city, a crossroads of cultures and a hub of maritime trade. It was here, amidst the vibrant exchange of goods and ideas, that one of the greatest inventions in human history took shape, the alphabet. Byblos was a melting pot of civilizations, its streets a tapestry of cultures, languages, and beliefs. It was here that the Phoenicians, renowned seafarers and traders, developed a revolutionary system of writing that would forever change the course of human communication. The legacy of Byblos is etched in stone, in its ancient ruins and the echoes of its glorious past. It stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring impact of cultural exchange. We venture now into the heart of Syria, where we encounter Aleppo, a city that has stood as a beacon of culture and commerce for over four millennia. Situated at the crossroads of ancient trade routes, Aleppo became a melting pot of civilizations, its streets echoing with the languages and traditions of the East and West. Imagine the sights and sounds of the ancient souk, a labyrinthine marketplace where merchants from distant lands displayed their wares. Aleppo's strategic location made it a prize coveted by empires throughout history, from the Hittites to the Ottomans. The citadel of Aleppo, a majestic fortress perched atop a hill, stands as a silent guardian, its imposing presence a reminder of the city's turbulent yet enduring history. Despite the passage of time and the trials it has endured, Aleppo's spirit remains unbroken, its people resilient, and its cultural heritage a beacon of hope for the future. Our journey through time takes us now to Damascus, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities on Earth. Imagine a city where the past and present intertwine seamlessly, where ancient mosques stand tall alongside bustling modern markets. The air is fragrant with the scent of jasmine and spices, a sensory symphony that has captivated travelers for centuries. Damascus was once a vital stop on the legendary Silk Road, a conduit for trade and cultural exchange between East and West. Caravans laden with silk, spices, and precious goods traversed its bustling streets, leaving behind a legacy of cultural fusion. The heart of Damascus beats within the walls of its ancient city, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As we wander through the Umayyad Mosque, a masterpiece of Islamic architecture, we are transported back in time, surrounded by the echoes of prayers and the weight of centuries. Our exploration of the world's oldest cities takes us now to the heart of ancient Persia, to the city of Susa, a place where history whispers from every stone and artifact. Founded over 6,000 years ago, Susa served as the capital of the Elamite Empire, a powerful civilization that rivaled the might of Mesopotamia. Imagine a city adorned with magnificent palaces, temples, and ziggurats, its streets bustling with merchants, artisans, and nobles. Susa's strategic location on trade routes linking Mesopotamia with the Indus Valley made it a crossroads of cultures and a center for commerce. The legacy of Susa is a testament to the enduring power of human civilization, a reminder that even the mightiest empires eventually crumble, leaving behind only whispers of their former glory. Our journey now takes us to Europe, to the ancient city of Plovdiv, 
nestled amidst the rolling hills of Bulgaria. With a history spanning over 8,000 years, Plovdiv stands as one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in Europe. Imagine a city where ancient ruins seamlessly blend with vibrant modern life. The cobblestone streets echo with the footsteps of centuries, a testament to the city's enduring spirit. Plovdiv's strategic location on the ancient Via Diagonalis, a Roman road connecting Europe to Constantinople, made it a crossroads of cultures and a hub of trade. The city's Roman amphitheater, still remarkably well-preserved, stands as a testament to its glorious past. Plovdiv is a city where history is not merely confined to museums, but is woven into the very fabric of daily life. Our exploration of ancient cities takes us back to the shores of Lebanon, to the city of Sidon, a place where the spirit of the Phoenicians, the legendary seafarers of the ancient world, still lingers. Founded over 6,000 years ago, Sidon was a major maritime power, its ships sailing to distant shores, carrying goods, ideas, and cultural influences across the Mediterranean and beyond. Imagine a city buzzing with the activity of shipbuilders, sailors, and merchants, its harbor a forest of masts. The scent of cedarwood, used to construct the Phoenicians' mighty ships, mingles with the salty tang of the sea air. Sidon was renowned for its production of purple dye, a luxury good coveted throughout the ancient world. As we wander through the ruins of Sidon's sea castle, we are reminded of the city's enduring connection to the sea, a relationship that shaped its destiny and left an indelible mark on the ancient world. Our journey through time takes us now to the heart of Egypt, to the city of Fayum, an oasis of life amidst the arid desert landscape. Fayum's history stretches back over 6,000 years to a time when the pharaohs ruled ancient Egypt. Imagine a city surrounded by lush green fields, a stark contrast to the surrounding desert. The Nile River, the lifeblood of Egypt, flows through Fayum, nourishing its fields and sustaining its people. Fayum was a center of agriculture and trade in ancient Egypt, renowned for its fertile land and its strategic location on trade routes connecting Upper and Lower Egypt. The ruins of ancient temples and tombs dot the landscape, whispering tales of pharaohs, gods and goddesses. Fayum is a place where the past feels remarkably present, where the echoes of ancient Egypt still resonate through the ages. Imagine a city where ancient citadels stand guard over bustling spice markets, where the aroma of roasted pistachios fills the air, and the rhythmic hammering of coppersmiths echoes through the streets. Gaziantep's rich history is reflected in its diverse architecture, a blend of styles that speak to its multicultural past. The Gaziantep Zugma Mosaic Museum houses a remarkable collection of Roman mosaics, offering a glimpse into the opulence and artistry of a bygone era. Gaziantep is a city that embraces its past while looking towards the future, a place where history and modernity coexist in perfect harmony. Its strategic location on ancient trade routes made it a prize coveted by empires throughout history, from the Hittites to the Romans, from the Byzantines to the Ottomans. Our exploration of ancient cities takes us now to southeastern Turkey, to the city of Gaziantep, a place steeped in history and renowned for its culinary delights. Gaziantep's origins stretch back over 6,000 years to the dawn of civilization. Our final destination takes us to the banks of the Nile River, to the awe-inspiring city of Luxor, a place where the grandeur of ancient Egypt is on full display. Known in ancient times as Thebes, Luxor was once the capital of Egypt during its New Kingdom period, a time of unprecedented power and prosperity. Imagine a city adorned with towering temples, colossal statues, and opulent tombs, a testament to the might and splendor of the pharaohs. The Temple of Karnak, a complex of temples, chapels, and monuments spanning over 200 acres, is one of the most impressive architectural achievements in human history. As we stand in the shadow of the Colossi of Memnon, massive statues of Amenhotep III that have stood guard over the Theban necropolis for millennia, we are humbled by the scale and ambition of ancient Egyptian civilization. Luxor is a place where history comes alive, where the echoes of ancient Egypt resonate through the ages, leaving visitors breathless with wonder. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through time. From the ancient ruins of Jericho to the awe-inspiring monuments of Luxor, we've witnessed the enduring legacy of human civilization. These cities are more than just historical landmarks. They are living testaments to the resilience, ingenuity, and cultural richness of humanity. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating historical insights. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our world, both ancient and modern.